now, the emotional issue of the family reunions is not just confined to the Korean Peninsula. And we're going to connect live now to our Hwang ji -hye in Los Angeles for details. ji -hye. Well, some Korean families torn apart by the Korean War live here in Los Angeles, and they are hoping to meet their long-lost relatives before it's too late. Unfortunately for them, the outlook looks bleak. The outlook looks bleak. There was a ray of hope for 88-year-old Kim Bong-gun when the two Koreas agreed to proceed with reunions for families separated since the Korean War earlier this month. More than 60 years have passed since Kim last saw his sister, brother-in-law and cousin, who was in kindergarten when he fled North Korea. I miss them so much, I can still clearly remember my cousin's face. She used to follow me and hold my hand when I walked her to kindergarten. His faint hope, however, quickly flickered out. Including Kim, an estimated 100,000 Korean-American families have ties to North Korea, but this time only 170 families from the two Koreas were allowed to meet their long-lost relatives. Many of the separated Korean-American families live in Southern California, which has the largest population of Koreans outside of the divided peninsula. For them, Cha chang -jun, a member of the National Unification Advisory Council of Los Angeles, says there's not much hope for a reunion anytime soon. There are hundreds of thousands of separated families in South Korea, and just for them to take a trip to the north to meet their families will take decades. I don't think people like me in the United States will have a chance. Although Korean Americans are able to take a private trip to the north to meet their families using their U.S. citizenship, not many consider it a feasible option. There are organizations that help Korean Americans visit North Korea to meet their families, but it costs a lot of money. People in the Korean-American community that have families in the North are hoping that the reunions led by the two Koreas take place on a regular basis and on a larger scale. Pyongyang, however, has a record of unilaterally calling off a scheduled family reunion, uh, making a scheduled family reunion. Um, so, I mean, whenever it has a bone to pick with South Korea and the United States. Guys. Well, thank you very much to our reporter there, Huang Jie, and let's hope that the two days of reunions coming up go without a hitch. Uh, as Jie mentioned there, there have been some problems in the past, and let's hope there are many more reunion events in the future. And that was our Huang Jie reporting from Los Angeles on the thousands of Korean-American families who are also desperate to see their long-lost relatives again.